Prince Harry, William and King Charles reached stalemate of a reconciling relationship. The royal family have remained divided ever since Prince Harry relocated to California with his wife Meghan Markle three years ago. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. The royals have reportedly reached a stalemate in their attempt to rebuild their relationship as the feud between Prince Harry, his father King Charles, and his brother Prince William rumbles on. Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have been raising their young family in Montecito, California for three years now following their decision to step down as walking royals. But despite his various return visits to the UK, little progress appears to have been made on patching things up. Harry and Meghan have returned to the UK a few times for big royal occasions, despite their status as non-working members of the firm last year for the Platinum Jubilee in June and then for Queen Elizabeth's funeral in September. It was also confirmed in the lead up to the coronation that Harry had accepted his invitation to attend one of the most important days of his father's life with one insert describing a mood of genuine cooperation between Buckingham Palace and the Sussexes, according to the Telegraph. However, the Duke was barely seen as he made a whistle-stop trip to London, flying back as soon as the ceremony in Westminster Abbey had wrapped up to celebrate Prince Archie's fourth birthday at home. He apparently did not speak to his father or brother at all while at the coronation, and also avoided them during his two recent trips to London as part of his court cases against the press. A royal commentator has stated that while some of the frostiness between the two parties had eased, the king is in no hurry whatsoever to bury the hatchet. Camilla Tomini added, The emergence of a letter written by Meghan to the king expressing her concerns about Unconscious bias in the royal family seems to have put pay to any imminent hope of reconciliation. Family pictures of Harry, Meghan, Archie and Princess Lilibet still adorn Clarence's house, suggesting the King and Queen Camilla harbour hopes for a reconciliation. And Intada said, under the circumstances, you might think that the pictures would be moved, but they have still got pride of place. To all our world appearances, they still seem to be very happy family. Why the firm had begun to come with terms with allegations about the royals in the Sussex's interview with Oprah Winfrey, the publication of Harry's memoir spare in January took everything right back to square one, a source claim. There is a sense of high irritation about everything they have done. The Netflix documentary was viewed as largely anodyne and nothing much to worry about. It's a book that, for the family, has really cemented the view that all Harry ever seems to want to do is air his unhappiness. There's not a lot to trust left um, to allow the family to maintain a good and open relationship. How do you speak openly without it ending up in Volume 2? So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.